I'm Martin Burnell from East Hill Town, Chorley Chumley in Devon. We're a family farm consisting of Colin, my father, Chris, my mum and Amanda, my wife. We're 170 cows with 65 followers on a simple TMR system consisting of maize, grass silage, rape and soya and use of outer parlour feeders which is a home mix of basically road wheat and wheat distillers. What breeds of cow do you have here? We have Osteen Frisians and they're fairly big. They weigh between 650 and 800 kilograms. Yield would be 8,200. When did you start using the Traceshore CUI bolus? We started using the boluses about eight, nine months ago. Uh, we started on the calves which were six months of age. Basically we gave them one bolus and they had a second bolus five months after the first one just before they were inseminated. The reason why we bolus them we got a problem here with copper and iodine and we could see in their coats that they had problems with copper. Hence after the boluses started working the condition of the coat improved showing no signs of copper deficiency. And what about the general health of the calves? They've certainly a lot stronger and healthier than what they were and they basically look shinier. And after trialling it on the calves you started using it on the cows as well? Yeah, we uh, give two boluses on the cows at drying off and since we've been on the boluses we've found that we've had easier calvings, less retained cleansings and just general calf strength and health has been far better. Why are you double bolusing the cows? reason for double bolusing is because our cows are over 550 kilograms, they need two boluses and to get their daily requirement. Had you tried any other ways of rectifying the copper deficiency before you started using Traceshore CUI? We've tried no mineral at all. We've tried bag mineral off the shelf. We've also tried feeding different rates, 100 grams, 150 grams. We found we couldn't get bag mineral into them to get the daily requirement that the cattle need. We also find that, yes, you've got to bolus them at drying off, but at least they're getting their daily allowance for the next six months which we found hard in the summer to give when cows were out to grass because it's hard to get 150 grams into them and make sure that all of them get 150 grams of bag mineral. How easy do you find the boluses to administer? The boluses are easy to administer with the help of a second gun. And you have an extra pair of helping hands here, I understand, with the bolusing. Yes, I have a three-year-old son who's dead keen on farming and when it's safe to do so, he reloads the guns and enjoys doing it and is a great help. Will you continue to use the boluses? As long as the boluses do the job for me, I will continue to use the boluses. The results I've seen in the short period of time over the last eight, nine months have been a definite increase compared to the bag mineral system I've been on before. What has it meant for you as a business to finally get on top of all of these health problems? It's a management tool. Basically, if we have less problems with retained cleansings and milk fevers, we should have a better healthy cow, which hopefully will give us better production. And in a few years' time, when things are really moving, we'll have better stock, which will mean that we can keep less and be more productive on the stock that we own at Hilltown. Because you take great pride in your herd, and I guess that the bolus is another tool to helping you achieve the best for that herd. Yeah, when we first picked the leaflet up, it looked like it was almost too good to be true. But after a few conversations with Alid and understanding the way the boluses work, we found that it made sense to go the bolus route because of having a tool or system or whatever you end up to call it, you start off by giving a cow two boluses at the beginning of the dry period. So really, that's the start of her lactation. And you've started giving the triple pack to the younger calves. Yes, we started that now recently. 
They're slightly smaller boluses and we're hoping that they will put them in good stead for their growth stage. Basically what we're trying to do is get that calf growing every day stronger, healthier and be in a far better state when they come to insemination ready to hopefully hold first time and um, getting calf to come into the herd.